Hey guys, it's me, Aji. So for today's video, I'm going to be once again filming a TTDI contact lens trial haul. Um, as usual, this video is sponsored. Um, but again, if you're worried about transparency or honesty, I will be keeping my thoughts 100% honest. I've clarified this with the brand. I told them that if you're not willing for a creator to be honest with their thoughts, then I don't want to be sponsored. Unfortunately, they were fine with letting honesty pull through, so shout out TTDI. But if this video still isn't the type for you, then feel free to click out. Um, it's 100% fine, but if you're staying, hi, welcome. I'm Aji, I do makeup and contact lens videos apparently. So without further ado, let's go on ahead and try on some of these lenses. They sent me six pairs, four of them are yearly, and two of them are daily, which by the way, I did not know that TTDI finally has daily contact lenses or if they've had this for a long time. These are the packaging of their daily contact lenses, very cute. Yeah, let's go on ahead and try the daily ones first. Hi guys, just a very quick interruption. If you're planning on buying any or all of these lenses, I do have a discount code for you guys. That's it right there on the screen. And actually, TTDI has plenty of other codes which can give you more discounts. They have a buy one get one, buy two get three. They just have a lot of promo codes that you can use along with my code. I'll make sure to include other promo codes in the description along with the link of all of these lenses. So yeah, make sure to check out TTDI. I'll include their shop link down below. Back to the video. Like I said, these are daily contact lenses, which naturally feels more comfortable than their yearly contact lenses. As for the color, um, I'm going to give you guys a close-up. I'm sorry if it if me zooming through the screen makes you uncomfortable, but um, I want to give you guys a proper look at these lenses. So this is how they look like. Um, looking at them through the screen, they are gray. Like, they're a very dark gray. I would describe it as an ashy gray and not necessarily a blue gray like their other gray lenses. This is actually nice. It looks nice. It looks kind of natural but more, I would say, defined. Um, it has a more distinct and bright color than all of my other daily contact lenses from Korean brands. But yeah, it's nice. It shows up well on um, a very dark brown eyes. So. That's all good. Let's move on to the next daily lens. <laughs> I love this color. Hello. So this is black tea brown. This lens has a brown limbal ring and it has a very, not a very wide, but wide enough pupil hole so that it doesn't look intimidating. Um, the color itself is a very transparent brown, which makes your eyes look just a little bit lighter. Let me give you guys a close-up. So here it is. It's very comfortable. Uh, that much I could say. And I forgot to say, but their daily contact lenses come with 10 pieces of lens, making it 5 pairs. You do only get 5 pairs out of their lenses, but I could confidently say that they're really comfy. Anyway, let's move on to the yearly contact lenses. Oh, 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 
this edge yellow green. Uh, this is how it looks like. It has, I would say, a slightly unnatural green color. It's not as muted and on the lenses itself, the color does appear to have a neon-y or like neon-ish color. Of course, the neonness doesn't really translate when you're actually wearing the lens itself. It has a white pupil hole and a black limbal ring and it it is part of their um, enlarging contact lens series and it's named edge because the edge is black and it's really the the purpose i believe of these lenses is really to go out of the eye's natural diameter to make it look bigger um, i do notice that it does give a dull like effect but I would say that if you're one of the people who have a smaller or um, thinner eye diameter, this would look unnatural on you too because of the size. Um, as you can see like right here, on certain angles, the color does go past my actual eye and it, it gives a transparent green ring. Nonetheless, this color is cute. I think it complements the pink of my look a lot. Um, I really like this. So, yeah, I might end up getting the other colors just because I like this one so much. But anyway, let's move on to the next color. actually polar light gray and if you're wondering Aji I don't remember polar light gray like having a limbal ring and this is because this is the polar light series 2 they do have a second series which I believe it was designed to look more natural on the eye that's why they included a limbal ring the original polar light series do not have a limbal ring and compared to that which I have tried before I believe this one has a wider a little bit of a wider pupil hole um, there is definitely a limbal ring and it's thick it's not as dark as other limbal rings from other styles but it's thicker um, let me get up close so you guys can see so you can see right there um, you can also see it here and yeah, this is the gray that's kind of like a blue gray, the blue gray that I was talking about. If you notice, compared to obsidian gray, which is an ashy gray, a black white kind of gray, this is a gray with a very, very cool tone. If you're kind of good with colors, um, you will notice that there is a slightly blue tinge in the grayness here. So yeah. It's not the comfiest that I've had. I've had more comfy lenses, but there's no discomfort here at all, so I guess. Next, I'm going to try on Polar Lights Brown from the 2 series as well, so let's go. This is Polar Lights Brown. Um, again, let me give you guys a close up. Compared to the brown color from the first Polar Light series, which was a bit gray, a bit of a muted brown, this one is warmer. Definitely has more yellow and orangey tones in it. The blue one that I previously tried, the limbal ring was color black, and I think this one is brown. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I do think it's a dark brown. I think natural girlies would approve of this. As someone who likes natural contacts, this is so-and-so for me. But yeah, anyway, let's try on the last color.
black and yellow green. OMG I am so sorry. I don't know why I kept calling it yellow green. I think I misunderstood lol. It's actually brown green cowboy emoji. Please forgive my stupidity crying emoji heartbreak emoji. So like the first color, this is in the yellow green color but you will notice that this one is less intense uh which i still like it's much much more natural like much more natural on camera it does translate to being kind of like an ashy gray similar to the obsidian gray looking at the mirror this does have a green tinge to it and i've personally tried your american gray um that has a much more bluish hue um, whereas this one does look greenish, I wouldn't necessarily call it yellow green because it doesn't appear that way on the eyes, but it does change your eye colors. It doesn't necessarily make your eyes look bigger. I feel like if you're after um, lenses that will make your eyes look big that are still in the yellow green color, I would recommend that you try the edge one. But yeah, it's really nice. It looks really good. Okay guys, so that has been me trying on different lenses from TTDI. Out of all the packages of lenses that they've sent me, um, because I've been personally picking the colors for each one, I feel like this one has the greatest um, colors. Uh, this, is, this is my favorite package thus far. If I were to pick a top 3 out of the 6 colors that I've tried today, I would say top 3 is the Euro American Yellow Green. Top 2 would be the Black Tea Brown, the daily one. Um, it's a tie actually between the two daily lenses that I've tried, Black Tea Brown and Obsidian Grey. They're both very good. I really like the comfort level of them. Um, and then top one would be Polar Lights Grade 2, which is actually weird because for the first Polar Light series, my favorite color there is brown. Um, but this one, I do like the gray better. It's darker, it's more natural, and the brown for this line just looks a little bit, a little too warm for my liking. But yeah, they're all very good, honestly. Another thing about this batch too is that no contact lens irritated my eyes, which... Uh, can happen especially if you're trying on a few contact lenses at the time i tried six pairs on today and nothing irritated my eyes no redness whatsoever i really like them but yeah i still would recommend all of the colors that i've tried today if you're a natural girly like me you will like most of the colors that i've tried on today i would say that if style and longevity is important to you as a contact lens wearer definitely go for the yearly lenses they are going to give you the most bang for your buck if you're someone who spends a whole lot of their day outside moving being active the daily lenses are very nice and they're actually like pretty cheap compared to other daily contact lenses in the market right now ttdi always has the best lenses for my girlies on a budget so i would highly highly recommend them if you are planning on buying some of these lenses and you want to save a little, I do have a discount code. It's Aji Aki, and I believe it will give you a 10% off discount, maybe more. <laughs> I'm not sure. So yeah, once again, thank you TTDI for sponsoring this video. I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye!